So it can be frustrating using your phone to fly your DJI Mavic 2 because you can get calls during the flight, your battery can die, and ultimately your phone gets knocked out of the game. So that's why DJI created the smart controller. And in this video, we're gonna be checking it out. Coming up. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES at the DJI booth. I'm here with Patrick. How's it going? It's great. Thanks for stopping by. Super pumped to be here. And I'm super excited about the new smart controller for the Mavic 2. So let's break it down. What is happening here? Right. So we, uh, we took uh, our smart controller and we added in a ultra bright 5.5 inch screen. Uh, it's essentially a customizable dashboard uh, run on Android uh, that it's uh, right now running DJI Go 4. Uh, and in future firmware updates, we'll be able to run Pilot as well. Awesome. So this product looks beautiful and all of the footage that we were able to capture from it is very high bright, great for shooting in daylight. But break it down, what's kind of the price point and the timeline of release and the intent behind this product, the problem it solves? Sure, sure. Um, so in the US, uh, price point is at $649 uh, and hopefully we'll have it out in a few weeks. Um, customers interested in purchasing it can go on DJI's website and get notifications when we're shipping, uh, hopefully again in the next few weeks. Um, this product is really aimed at uh, taking the dependency off of using your smartphone while you're flying. Uh, oftentimes, you know, if, if you're someone that flies a lot, uh, you, you buy a dedicated tablet uh, just so that you have something ready to go in your case so that when you're flying, you don't have to take your phone, uh, you know, and use up all your battery or anything like that. Uh, so what this does is just really makes it a simple solution to flying instead of having something like that. Uh, normally when you buy a tablet or use your phone or a larger screen, you need a, a mounting system and you need to wire it. Uh, this is built in, it's got the controllers, it's an ultra bright screen pumping out a thousand nits, uh, optimized for daylight use so that if you've ever been flying in the day and you're, you're squinting, you're trying to see where you're going, this solves that uh, in an all-in-one package. I love that. And then there's one other aspect we were kind of talking about that it's still kind of early in the game with this unit, but you can add some apps, even some third-party apps. So beyond the DJI Go 4 app and whatnot, you might even be able to do some editing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so right now it'll, it'll run DJI Go 4. Uh, and future firmware updates, it'll be DJI Pilot for the enterprise solution. Um, and then essentially, yeah, you'll be able to download and put in uh, like software editing uh, so that you can kind of uh, do that on the go. I love that. And yeah, the screen looks great. It's great functionality, very responsive as far as the touch goes and things like that. So it's super excited about this project. Well, Patrick, thanks for breaking it down for us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks. Now, if you already have a DJI Mavic 2, I'm super excited about this remote, but maybe you haven't even picked out a drone yet. If that's the case and you're thinking about upgrading this year, check out our video that we did with Aldrin from the Flight Path. I'll link it up on the YouTube card and in the description below. He breaks down the best drones for 2019. Question of the day, are you already flying drones? Which one do you use? Are you thinking about upgrading to one? Let me know in the comment section below.